Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble the Rode NT-USB Mini. The tools you're going to need are probably a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head small screwdriver, and that's, I think that's about it. So for this guy, there's no obvious screws or anything anywhere on it. This is your starting point, specifically the top edge here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to remove the front panel first. So I'm going to rotate this cool little hingy guy to the back panel so that we have the front panel clear in a way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in here like this. One, two, then we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna go three and four. This thing does not seem like it wants to be opened by me today. Not again. Um, and next, what we're gonna do is if you look, let's see if it's visible or not. It's probably not visible. These guys have little little hook shapes, kind of like my finger there, that go in. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna coax those hook shapes out. So I'm gonna take this flathead screwdriver, I'm gonna get it in and under. Yeah, it's not really visible, but you're just gonna kind of you see it against, you can kind of see that tab there against the silver of the screwdriver. You're just going to kind of slowly convince it that it wants to be out. So you're just going to loosen this one. Careful not to stab yourself with the screwdriver in the process. Do the same thing over here. I'm just going to gently work it. Put that over here too. Really, the hardest thing really is just keeping all of these different edges so yeah so you can see I'm kind of slowly getting some nice separation right there just gonna gently coax We'll just gently, ever so gently use this gap to start. Just little gentle pushes. There we go. And it pops out. Actually, that's a good trick. So just very gentle leverage right there. And then over here, probably a little bit of the same. We're just gonna gently just gonna kind of gently pry it up. That worked pretty good. So that exposes the front of the speaker, and the button here, and the lead weights. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the back. So we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna rotate it around. And we're gonna do that same exact thing. So we're just gonna get under, this is already loose, just gently coax it. Just, oh, that works so nice. Okay, so yeah, definitely insert, twist. Now I have taken this apart once before, so yours will probably be a little more stiff, but still. And then we're just gonna kind of get this guy in here and just sort of coax him. Let's do this again, let's see if this works again. That's it, oh, come on. Oh, this guy's still locked. I'm gonna unlock him. It's actually pretty, Honestly, as far as screwless designs go, I'm very impressed because it's a very clean design. It's just, it's a little annoying to get out right now, but like, it looks very clean and it's still very removable. Relatively simple tools. Oh, come on, you. Let's see here, let's get. Okay, there we go. I'm starting to see some separation there. I'm just gonna gently Gently, gently here. There we go. Separated. Back shell is out. What I did, which you don't have to do, but I thought was going to be the most simple and turned out to be decently simple, is I took a pair of scissors and I just cut the foam right here. The reason being it's foam, so it's it's not going to diminish its functionality. And then it makes it much easier for me to just sort of remove from around the actual um, pickup itself right here. 
And so next, let's see here. So next, we're gonna we're gonna rotate this guy towards the front, towards the side that has the knob on it, and that will expose the little circuit board mounting mechanism here, which has a clip for this little bit of the circuit board. And this guy, um, to remove him, he's got these little um, little rubber standoffs. Now this one I've already removed once, so they're going to be easy for me to remove. But when I removed them the first time, I just took a screwdriver. Now note, this was actually flush at the time. I took a screwdriver and I gently worked it into the edge here and I just gently worked it until it popped up. And I did that for both of these edges. And I believe I did that for this edge too. Just the key is slowly and gently. Better to go slow than to break something. So then once that's removed, you can, this is pretty flexible. And I believe most of this is just rubber, so you don't have to worry too much about this flexing. Now the connector for this board is on the front. So you want to work this guy towards the front. So we're just going to kind of... We're gonna, I'm going to lift this boot up right here because i got to get him past the edge. You can see our cable right there. I always look for the little cables. There he is. So we're going to try and make sure that we treat him gently. So this guy, we're just gonna kind of move him and work him out like this. And then he comes out nice and easy like that. And so now you've got a cable to manage right there. So pay attention to that, but that's not bad. Um, and the way I solve the rest of this puzzle, so the weights are very, dead weights are dead simple to remove. I'm just gonna unscrew this one screw right here. And then these weights are going to come right off. So this will slide out the front and the back. So the back, this one comes out the front. And there's the knob. And in case you're curious about the knob, um, it will come right off if you just put a flathead screwdriver. And again, gently, gently, just work back and forth. Nobody's in any kind of hurry today. Back and forth. And of course, just a simple knob there. And if you actually wanted to remove the knob, there is a little hex head right there. You can kind of see it. You see that little flat edge there and there. It's almost invisible. It's very tight, so you'd probably need a teeny tiny um, socket set or wrench to get it out, which is a thing you could do. But I figured out how to do it without doing that, so I'm not going to do it. So we're going to pop this guy back on. Let's see your flat side. Match the flat sides up. And then I'm going to flip over to the back again, right here. And you'll notice this cable has almost no play in it at all. So you got to be real careful. So what we're going to do now is we're going to unplug it from this connector. Now the other option you have is if you could get this knob out with that screw, I think this whole thing would come out and your life would probably be a lot easier, but I don't have that that specific size. So what I'm going to do to make my life simpler and harder at the same time is just gently grip. Oh, you know what I did? I used a screwdriver. I'm going to use a screwdriver, and in the very front of this guy, there's a gap between the connector and the, and the plug. And if you just get in there with a screwdriver, like so, just gently work it. Gently, gently. You should probably get a sharper one, but this will do. See how that popped up? That popped up right there. So now that it's popped up, we can gently work it back and forth because you don't want to damage this connector on the board and you could tear this off, so be careful. Although if your board's already damaged, it probably doesn't matter. And then um, what we can do from here is we can work this board out. So to do that, um, you just need to disengage these clips on the side. So you just need to like, so what I do is I would grip the board here. Just, this is a nice spot. And then I disengage the clip. You could probably, I've also used screwdrivers to do the clip disengaging with more success, honestly. So let's do that. Let's use a screwdriver to disengage this clip. So let's get this guy tricky part now is I'm trying to do it for a camera. So, 
just put some steady pressure, pull pressure on this guy. I'm gonna use this guy and we're gonna just push that clip down on this side. There we go. So now it's like, it's up there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but on the other side. So we're gonna, again, watching this speaker very carefully, we're gonna flip it over like this. Take, same idea. So just gonna put some pressure on this, just some pull pressure to make sure I don't lose the progress I've already made. Push down the clip and there we go, it's loose. All right, so now we're loose. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure that we're still respecting this has no slack cable. So to do that, we're gonna rotate this board like this. And then it comes right up. Let's see, we'll just go this way because it's easier. So now you've got separation. And so now in the housing, we still have the knob if you need to fix the knob. And here's the board. And my sad tale of woe, I mega destroyed this little connector here. So I'm gonna try and get this whole thing replaced by the company itself because this is way too nice of a speaker to throw out. So yeah, that's, a, that's disassembly. There you go.